Hello, it's Ben at Fidelity Designs. Just taking the time to make a video that I've been meaning, meaning to make for some time. Got a bit of spare time at the moment, so I'm just catching up on a few things that I've wanted to do. I get a lot of questions about magnetic bearings from people uh, interested in the viability of uh, creating such a bearing design. So I just wanted to show you an example of that. Now this is for a turntable that I use for trying stuff out on. Uh, I mean I like to keep things simple so I'm a big Rager fan because I believe in you know keeping things simple but doing it well. But there's nothing wrong with trying out other stuff and some people they like to go all the way. They like all the, the bells and whistles and that's their thing and there's nothing wrong with that because um, in this hobby we've all got you know different ideas of um, you know what's our you know the best thing for us you know our preferences so yeah magnetic bearing so this one's based on a conventional type bearing so fully lubricated shaft with a ball on the end running on a, th on a thrust, pla thrust place on th at the bottom um, I've got another version of this bearing which is inverted type and that's got an oil reservoir for lubrication lowers the centre of gravity, uses a higher mass uh, platter than these two platters I'm going to show here. But let's have a look at it. So you can see at the moment you can hear a bit of oil squidging around there. And it's like a, a spring and you can see the two opposing rig ma ring magnets providing that, uh, that force. So I'll stick the platters on it and, uh, and we'll split it, spin, you know, we'll spin it up and have a look at it. So let's stop that. Put the first platter on it. Now this is for this turntable. It's uh, the motor drives the edge of the platter with the uh, with a long belt. So it's got a groove in the uh, on the edge of the platter on the uh, on the bottom. I'm going to wait here because uh, I like using the weight just to put a bit of pressure on the. Uh, on the record so just push it down into the into the platter so I'll spin it up. So you know they do they do work pretty well. So you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do some listening so I'm gonna run it for a while and uh, and do some listening see if we can sort of draw any conclusions from using this type of bearing, you know, whether it is an advantage. Um, you know, some people may, as I mean, I was skeptical trying it out, and uh, some people may, you know, they may think that, uh, you know, there's a problem with magnetic fields, you know, could it be affecting the, the cartridge? Well, these are the sort of things I'm going to be trying out. Uh, obviously, these are you know high density magnets so they're, they're very sm you know physically pretty small you know they're not the old uh, ferrite types and uh, that helps contain the magnetic field and also it's contained under the sub platter so the the alloy sub platter will provide some some shielding from the magnetic force but I don't you know I don't really know if it's an, if it's an issue I mean the, the shaft on this bearing it's non-ferrous um, so stainless weight, so again non-ferrous, so no uh, magnetic field can be transmitted through there. But yeah, I'll be, I'm going to be trying all this out. So I just wanted you to have a look at it to uh, to see one in action. So might be of interest to some people, those people that I've been asking. So I'll make it. I'll make another video when um, when I've had a think about you know all these all these things and uh, sort of weigh up the pros and cons and uh, and uh, get back to you so I'll uh, I'll see you soon